So, uh, hi everybody. Uh, an odd one, uh, but it came up on somewhere. Somebody was talking about Django Reinhardt, and I used to do a lesson on this. Um, did it a couple of times for Northbrook. Um, and I find it quite interesting. If you don't, who cares? Well, me, but Django Reinhardt. Um, accident in his caravan, and he ended up with his fingers very badly burnt here, and his ring and little finger were fused very much in that sort of pattern, which meant that he was left with these two. So, he was impaired. Um, World Health Organization used that idea of that an impairment is a bit of you that doesn't work. It then uses the idea that the disability are the consequences of a bit of you not working. So, yeah, there he is, he's impaired and he's disability, so he better give up guitar. And of course he didn't. So the chords, most interesting in my opinion, how he approached it was that he would use those two fingers and there he's on the third fret on the B and the G string, first finger, second fret, the D and the G. So we've got this sort of sound. And Django would then put third fret, sixth string, and you get this sound. And it's a major sound. And that's how he would have think, thought of it, I think. So there's his G major. If he moves that finger onto the fifth string, he gets his C major sound. So we've got G and C, and in our usual three chord trick, we need a D seventh sound. So what he would do is those two fingers went across onto the G and the B string, so we're now there. And first finger is now on fourth fret the D. Fifth string, fifth fret. So we have this sound. So we've got G, C, and D. So typically, diner. minor chord same situation those two fingers could cover D and the G string fifth fret this one so there's my A minor so G A minor D7 okay and one final one for Dinah for example he used to use this chord voicing a lot two fused fingers and covering fifth fret the A and the D string this fingers fourth fret on the G string this fingers his fused fingers covering that E string and we actually have a G sound now he's got two other guitarists plus a bassist so they're providing so Django is just so again we get that so that's how he did the chords and you can end up very very gypsy jazz um if anybody's interested got a good one i can do on the right hand um so enjoy or don't <laughs>